there. Thanks for joining me to paint. Today, um, I was browsing, well, not today. A couple of days ago, I was browsing um, Instagram and I came across Coffee Stamps Chaos had posted a picture of a painting they had seen at the store and they'd taken a picture of this cute little pig. Isn't he adorable? So my thought today is that we are going to paint something cute, hopefully, <laughs> something like that in our sketchbook. So I'm gonna go ahead and use some painter's tape to paint off, to mark off my page because I want it to have a white outline. So I did already put a couple of little um, marks on my page so I would know that it's a four by six picture. So I thought that would be best. So we will just mark this off. And I like my pictures to have the little white frame around the outside. That's just personal preference for me. But that's what I enjoy. So I'm just going to make sure that it has a white frame around it. And you always wanna make sure when you put your tape down that it's smushed to the page. And we're gonna be using some gouache today. So we're gonna be using our Teza 24 piece or set of gouache and I do have a video on that that showed me swatching the gouache and putting it into my palette so I've got mine in this little tin here that holds everything and then I have a little um whoops this goes like this helps if you go in the right direction a little swatch card at the top that kind of shows me what colors they are up here but I also on my swatch cards that I did earlier I have one that shows me how if I mix two colors together what you get so that's gonna be really helpful because over here I have mixed white with scarlet red and I've got this little pink or this one is white and crimson red and it's a little bit darker so that's gonna kind of help me decide what color to paint my pig so I've also got a plate to mix colors and I'm gonna use a number eight silver brush, silver black velvet brush. I have some paper towels, stuff like that. And then I did, I've also got, this is a Derwent watercolor pencil in gunmetal. And I kind of just looked at my phone and did a little rough sketch of what my pig will look like. So it's gonna fit on here like this. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my Derwent pencil to kind of roughly draw the pig back onto my page. So let's go ahead and kind of do that. So we can kind of hold it up here like this. And you could transfer it to with um, some chalk on the back of it, but I didn't want to get that technical because we're just going to kind of rough it in. Okay, so we're gonna go down and then his head is kind of let's see we've got his ear that kind of goes like this and then this ear and they're kind of your pig's ears are kind of um well curved i guess and by using the watercolor pencil i can paint right over the top of it and it will come off and then this one we've got it goes down and it comes back in like this. And same for this ear. We've got it comes down right about here. And then for the inside of his ear, let's go ahead and do that. And then this one, we're gonna go around and over like so. And does it have to be perfect? No. Because like I said, we're just gonna kind of rough it in and see how it goes. And then we go down and about right here is his nose. So let's go, I'm just gonna make a little dot there so I know that that's where it is. And then we're gonna come around. Let's go ahead and draw his snout in right here. So it's kind of got a rounded shape like this and then it kind of goes up in the middle like this and then he's got a couple little spots for his nostrils so let's go rough those in 
And then he's got his donut. So his donut. And that goes. And my circle is totally not going to be round. He's going to go around over here. And then we'll have the donut hole in the middle. Okay, kind of getting it in there. And then over here, we're gonna have his face. So his face is gonna come down here onto the donut. And it kind of goes up and around like this. And then this one is same thing. So I'm gonna kind of make it the same as this side. But we're gonna go not quite so round on this side. We kind of flatten it out a little bit. This, and then of course he's gonna have his little neck fat. So let's put a little line here for that. And then over here, I think I'll make him go off the page. So his body will go over here, and then maybe his leg comes back in over here, and maybe goes up to the donut. Like this. And he's going to have another leg over here in the front. So let's go ahead and do another one this way. And let's go like this. And then he's going to have like his little belly. And then back here, I'm going to make this pink because that's going to be his back leg. And let's go ahead and do the eyes. So let's go with an eye right here. Like this and then we're gonna do his head's kind of tilted a little bit so let's go ahead and do another circle we're gonna go up a little bit and we'll go down and across like that so there we have and then of course you would have your little marks that go around his nose like that so there we got it all roughed in. I know, not perfect, but I'm okay with that. And then I'm going to go ahead and, even though I have it in this little palette right here, I'm gonna go ahead and just use my swatch card for my colors. So I'm gonna grab my white tube. So I'm gonna grab the tube of white, scarlet red, and crimson red. because those are the pinkest ones on my card. And we are going to start with those. And then we'll probably add a little bit different colors um, later on. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to squish a little bit, let me put that away, over here on my plate. So I'm thinking that I'm gonna go with them completely with the darker pink first and then come back with maybe some lighter pink over the top. So that's gonna be crimson red. So let's grab that first. And I'm just going to squish a little bit out here onto my tray, on my plate. And then we'll get some white. And then let's see, let's just grab this. I'm just going to grab a paintbrush and I'm going to add some water. And then I'm going to use the end of my paintbrush to mix these two together. It makes it a little bit easier to clean off. Okay, this color looks like it would be perfect for the inside of his ears. So now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna grab a little bit more white. Put that over here. And then let's go ahead and bring maybe this color over into this white. I'll tone it down just a little bit. Okay, I think that's a pretty good start. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe this paintbrush off. It's much easier to just wipe off the end of the paintbrush than it is to try to get all that paint off of your paintbrush. Okay, now I'm gonna get my brush wet dab it off and we'll go ahead and really mix this up and then I'm gonna just go ahead and 
paint my pig in. So the whole thing is pink except for his eyes and a little donut. So let's just go ahead and we'll go with this up like like I said, it does not have to be perfect. And since I know the inside of his ears I want to be darker, I'm just going to go ahead and go around that. And then same for over here. We'll go ahead and paint right around the inside. get my brush wet again and I'm gonna grab a little bit more paint on here roughly go around his eyes and we'll paint those black later so don't worry if they are not perfect. And then his nose is gonna be the darker pink. So we're gonna go ahead and go around that. Just gonna fill all this stuff in. And I covered up all those lines I already had on there. I probably should have made some more pink, but I didn't. make that a little bit darker and then we will come back later and fix that up all right so now let's go up here and we will do um, these ears so I'm gonna go ahead and grab a little bit of that and we're just gonna do inside of here And then we better do his nose. And we're gonna paint this nostrils black, so I'm just gonna go ahead and paint right over the top of them. And then I'll bring them in later on. So far so good. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab some white. And I'm gonna squish some of that on here. Okay, let's go ahead and mix this, I think, with this. OK, 
Okay, so we're going to want to do some little bit lighter up here on his ears because it's going to be, um, have some shadows or some highlights in there. So let's go ahead and go with this, maybe. Maybe bring it a little bit into this pink so it doesn't look quite so straight. And then let's bring it around this way. Yeah, it's not quite dry right there. Right, let's go over here and we'll do the same thing over here. And then we're going to need a little bit here. Let's go around his nose. This color up maybe in between here a little bit and we better have some color over here And we better bring this leg. Okay, so now we're gonna need poor little pig. He looks pretty sad, doesn't he? Let's go with maybe a little bit more of this pink in here.
I'm gonna get my I got my brush wet and I'm just going to kind of smush the paint around. This doesn't look quite so tidy. I don't want it to have quite so much of these lines in there. Dab it in my water again. more wrinkles in here. Alright, let's go ahead and I'm gonna let that dry, I think, a little bit. Bring this out a little bit right here. Let's go ahead and do eyes. I had to wander off and go do some kids stuff, so my stuff is dried. Let's go ahead and put something in here. something else for his face thinking that maybe I need to darken this up or put some more white in here it's something kind of pitiful grab a little bit more white maybe a different mm, no, let's go ahead and use this one so I'm thinking maybe I'm gonna do some different strokes maybe grab a different paintbrush and do some different strokes on his fur. And let's 
let's see, what other paper should I got? Let's go ahead and try this flat one. It's like a little flat. This is a half inch craft. And then I, since I've dried, I'm going to go ahead and just drop some water onto my paint here and reactivate it. Let's go ahead and put some of this white. And maybe do a little bit more stuff here.
Hey there, so I'm back. So I forgot to turn on my camera when I did um, the donut here and inside. So for my water, for my palette, I have added mauve pale and lemon yellow to do this outside section here of our donut. Now, I've been gone for a couple of days, so I'm gonna get my paint re-wet. So it's perfect that you can let it dry and then you come back and you just add a little bit of water to it and it's good to go. And I'm thinking the inside of my donut here needs to be lighter. And I might actually bring this corner around for my donut because my donut's looking kind of odd shaped here. It doesn't really, it maybe needs to go out this way a little bit more too. So we might try that, but for the eyes, let's see, for his eyes, he's going to need um, something above. So let's grab some of this darker color. Get it wet here. And his eye kind of has um, a little triangle thing up above. Maybe, maybe down a little bit more. Maybe like this. <laughs> He's looking kind of sad. All right, and then we're gonna need, let's see here. Let's see if we can grab some of this. I'm thinking maybe we need to pink up some of this um, black that's in here. This, this seems kind of dark. We tone it down a little bit. I think I'll wipe a little bit of that off because it's looking like it's picking up a lot of this color. Lighten this just a little bit more. 
And then what are we gonna do? We probably need to lighten up these eye things up here a little bit. Let's go with... What can we do with this donut down here while that other stuff's drying? Let's go ahead and do... Let's get my brown wet here. This needs to come out, maybe round over here a little bit more. Now we need to do our donut has some frosting on it. So let's go ahead and add, let's see, check out my thing here. So we've got, let's do burnt umber. I think I already have that out. Nope. Okay. Let me check. completely missed it. Okay, burnt umber and scarlet red, which I already picked out. So let's go ahead and mix a little bit of this up.
I'm thinking that's going to need a little bit more brown. Okay, so our donut has like frosting here on the inside. So let's go ahead and go. And frosting drips down the side. So we kind of go around and kind of go off the edge of our donut. And then it's going to do the same thing on the inside here. So let's go ahead and get a little bit more. So I don't want to go all the way down to the bottom of my donut. I'm going to go around here on the sides. And then we'll fill this in. And then at the top of the donut, you're going to have um, some shiny space. It's not going to be, it's still going to be brown, but it's going to have some um, highlights. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm just taking, I got a wet brush and I'm just going to go around the circle and wipe some of that paint away. I'm going to come back and kind of go in some of these little spaces so that's not quite so circly. It's got some bumps. All right. Then what I think I'll do is I will take a little bit of this.
color here and mix it with this color here. Just darken it up a little bit. And then I'm going to go around the inside of my donut hole. And then any of these little edges that are poking out. here let's do what do we want to do out here in the back let's do um, Persian blue wet and I'm going to put a little bit of water on here and loop that a little bit and then we're gonna bring that into these little spaces over here that there's background pig's eyes. It looks kind of sad. Let's see if we can do, I don't know, I'm thinking I'm going to put some of this maybe in this. down here on his belly maybe
Okay, what can we do with this poor pig's eyes? Now I did it.
Okay, now I'm going to add peach red. Okay, this poor pit's looking pretty sad. I'm thinking he needs some more white up here. And his eyes are just looking so difficult. What do they need? They need something. I don't... Maybe eyebrow. Maybe some eyelashes. Maybe... That would help? Maybe? marginally better. <laughs> just to tell you, I'm just not loving this poor thing. I think I've just destroyed the poor guy.
I don't know. I'm not loving him very much. But you know what? This was an attempt, so we're going to call it good. So let's go ahead and peel the tape off. Maybe it'll grow on me. All right, there's one done pig. I hope you had fun coloring with me today. If you have a question, leave or painting with me today. If you have a question, leave me a comment down below and I'll make sure to get back to you. If you liked the video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the little bell next to that so you'll get notified whenever I upload a new video or if I'm going to be doing a live class, you can stop in and we can chat. But anyway, I hope you're having a fabulous week and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.